Welcome everybody back to another Bold Cast One Piece reaction. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. And this is One Piece, episodes 233, 234. What happened last time? What did happen last time? Last time, we learned a little bit more about CP9, about what their right. intentions were with the assassination, and Luffy is stuck between two buildings. Yes. And uh, we had a Do little I conversation about that. <laughs> we had a little conversation about that, about how this situation felt very natural, the way that everybody was kind of splitting up and, you know, characters were kind of removed from the main action to sort of focus the story in on the fewer characters. And it, it was all character decisions rather than people just getting separated just sort of by convenience. We were congratulating that, but then also left on this thing where Luffy was, they are about to go in and then Luffy was stuck in the middle of two buildings, kind of just like trapped there. So mm -hmm. uh, we were a little bit disappointed in that, but we'll see kind of how things progress this time. And uh, we're very excited. This arc has been incredible so far. It's been top notch, top tier mm -hmm. One Piece experience. So we're going to see what happens. Leave a like and subscribe. Check out patreon.com slash bullcast, link in the description to get two weeks ahead of uncut reactions, one week ahead of edited reactions. We hope you enjoy most of all. Let's go. Going carelessly, it'll be a big problem. Carelessly th sticks himself between two buildings. <laughs> There's this crazy lady with a whip. Mm -hmm. And doorman. It's so funny. Right. <laughs> <laughs> kind of sounded like the green bird from uh, Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. Did you open, open up a door in that guy's body? Oh shit, oh. what? Oh. Now what? What? Excuse me. Is he just turning his fist into an iron door? Or maybe he can manipulate the density of things. Mm. That's why he could create a doorway. It's either his devil fruit allows him to manipulate like the density of objects or it's two separate things like his iron body or whatever he just mm -hmm. did was just like a training thing. And then yeah. the doorway was, was clearly like a magical quote unquote yeah. thing. Can you eat two devil fruit? Devil fruit? Uh, we've never met somebody that has, but I mean. I don't, I don't know what would stop you other than. I don't know what would stop you. Other than fate, like if it's a will of D, if the will of D is devil fruit or whatever. You know, or if it's like, a, you know, if it's all kind of wrapped together in like the idea of destiny is what I'm saying. Like, mm -hmm. you, like know, you, wouldn't, then you wouldn't you wouldn't have the chance exactly. to get another one. Yeah, but we don't know that. Like it would just the devil fruit would just make its way to somebody else mm -hmm. is the idea. Possibly. I'm sorry if I'm yawning, by the way. It's not that I, like I'm a little bit tired because we just woke up, but. That's not why I'm yawning. I'm yawning because I just had some of this monster and it's like, I'm like, I was like burping and it's like fucking with the amount that I'm breathing, I think, or something, you know? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just like swallowing air. I like, uh, 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 I don't know. I just feel kind of weird. Water. Ah. Boy, boy. Iron body. Iron body. Wasn't iron body fucking, um,. No, I'm thinking of full body. I'm thinking like Marines, iron body. Mm. Oh my God. Shave. Well. So he's super strong, super <sighs> fast, and he can face through walls. <laughs> Good thing these guys are shipwrights and not trained marksmen. Chopper, why are you running like that? He did the he did the tr uh, the fucking bike slide thing. 
して教員を探す。<laughs> Just take them all out at once. Accidentally didn't use the back of his swords. Killed the ball. They can't get a new boat because all the shipwrights are gone. <laughs> What now, Robin? Then why are you so obsessed? She's so pretty. Why? <laughs> multiple arms, multiple guns. I've just been chilling. What do you know about poneglyphs? うん。<笑> Hmm? He has a special. What? Wait, what? That's the... You should have just destroyed the... Pluton is the name of a battleship built on this island a long time ago. What? あ、ゆうねんまえのお話事件から。うん。ゆうしに逃げ出した少女のことをずっと気にかけてた。私は知っていた。お花の後また人同じ質問を持った危険な子だおしゃべりしよう。くだおれには。お前を取り逃げる。
<laughs> oh my god. Quick, grab back onto the. Oh, he's inside. That's a crazy move. Mm hmm. Whoa. Ooh. Why don't you just kill him? killing him. I thought yeah. you just said you were going to kill him. It's as close as we'll get. <laughs> I might do if he was already shot. <laughs> Holy shit, double jumps are crazy. Mm -hmm. We get blamed for everything. <laughs> Is that Lucci? No way. What? How? He didn't talk the whole time for a reason. <laughs> I thought that, that was at the same time that those other guys Are were they all? No fucking way. What? How long have they been undercover here? Oh my god. I feel so bad for him. What? Well, no fucking way. And I was just talking about how much I like them. <laughs> and about how, like, they don't jump to conclusions and shit. I feel so dumb. <laughs> got tricked. I got, I was fooled. I mean, it was, it's good writing. I had no idea. I do question, like, how long were they undercover there? Like, like they, years? Like, this was, I mean, it would, it would be. Like, they, you know, deep cover, under undercover operation to get the yeah. fucking blueprints to the shit, this like crazy weapon. Like, you know, that's the kind of shit that the CIA literally does, you know? And not only that, they had to become like super good shipwrights because or else they yeah. wouldn't have been, like they had to be- Trusted. I, you know what, I, I, the other, like Khalifa I feel like a little bit, but the fucking, th th this guy, the, whatever. Kaku. Yeah. What a betrayal from him. Maybe, I loved that maybe guy. Maybe his assessment about the Mary isn't correct. Fuck that guy. I mean, yeah. Whatever, um, yeah. Was not expecting that at all. It does make sense that we wouldn't recognize his voice since he never talked. Mm -hmm. It was always his fucking bird. Yeah. Man. And it's not all the shipwrights. It's That's also the other interesting. Thing. It's not every Yeah, shipwright. there's also that guy from the bar and we kept getting that scene where they were like talking, they were like talk clearly- Talking about CP9. Yeah, people so are I talking about hit, hit, like, 
he, he, at, at, in that position, you get a lot of information from like the town and what people think is yes. going on and stuff. So I feel like that's a really good thing. But now that they've revealed themselves, either Iceberg has to die or their entire I mean, mission is is pointless. Yeah, they they've got as close <laughs> as they've they've been able to get to the uh, the blueprints. Yeah, so I wonder the Mary the Mary might be fine. You know, Usopp, shit, this changes the whole thing with Usopp, like... I mean, I it mean, might not be. Might not be, but it might not be. We need but, someone else to check it Usopp, out now. The thing is, Usopp was like, what, you're just gonna trust some fucking random guy with the Mary's, li with yeah. Mary's life? Like, what's wrong with you? You're just gonna, like, instantly take the word of this random person, like he's, like, it's gospel? You yeah. Know? Also... So, but, and, so yeah. the Straw Hats show up, they have a bounty, and... They're the perfect scapegoat for all this, so that's why they spring their plan into action. Well, yeah, I was gonna know? say, because otherwise, um, you know, when two of them are in, like, the top level of shipwrights, they could be, I mean, obviously Polly was the one who got it right now, but they could have kept playing a much longer game and potentially killed off Polly and tried to become the favorite themselves so that they would just be given the blueprints eventually, mm -hmm. you know? But that, you know. And I, well, I wonder if there is any, like, care for Polly at all because they chose not to kill him there. Like, they were talking about killing him. And, and then, then they, they just and didn't then they kill just, him. And then they just restrained. So that could be chalked up to Oda just not wanting to kill anybody and just like, yeah. oh, I said that, but like, I'm not actually just going to have them kill this guy right now. That's a bit hardcore. You know, I'll just tie him up. But if there was, like, some lingering something with that here, then that would make sense. But. Mm hmm. Anyway. Man. And that makes sense why Bluno uh, was was the one to be with Robin to kill Iceberg because Iceberg wouldn't as wouldn't it wouldn't be as easy to recognize him by and, voice. Yeah. And, and all the other shipwrights. And all the other guys would be, would be together, around. Yeah. yeah, they would be they would be expected to be guarding and be around and stuff. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. That was pretty crazy. And yeah, the kick, like w when uh, when Luffy got like entered in, they were like kicking him and stuff, and they were mm -hmm. using the moves that like they normally use because like Kaku's always always about kicking people and like jumping around and stuff. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Yeah, I wonder if those blueprints are fake. Or I wonder. Not. Yeah, I don't know. Or or if he just said that they were fake, and and then they believed him. I mean, what if they are fake and they, he, like, the blueprints were destroyed a long time ago and they're just, uh, in Iceberg's memory, you know? Like, that could be a thing. Like, if he's that good of a shipwright and that, like, good of, has, you know, that he could just he's, was, he was taught so well that he just remembers it and it's passed down that way. It's like an oral tradition, mm -hmm. so, you know? So it dies with him. Yeah. That would That would be the safest possible route if it's possible for him to remember all of it. Yeah. Man, and there's also, yeah, all the stuff about, like, oh, Nico Robin was originally, like, like how we've been saying of, like, oh, did an eight-year-old really destroy, like, was she Turns really out. as crazy as she was said to be? It's like, no, she was just a threat to the government. I mean, she probably has done some crazy shit, but, Since, you know, but, but like, that wasn't the reason. The O'Hara incident or whatever mm -hmm. it was wasn't as clear-cut as just this child destroyed a million ships. Mm-hmm. And, she, and yeah, she knows, guy, apparently, Tom? yeah, that's apparently the guy what? who, uh, that, the that Tom, guy, yeah. Iceberg, yeah. What were you um, saying? Apparently, yeah, this, like now, I, Iceberg knows about Poneglyphs, but looking at them and like trying to, trying to find them is illegal, which I guess makes sense if the whole thing is you can build some crazy ass weapon. Um... But man, th I mean, yeah, we knew that though. Like we, th that's yeah. not new information at all. We've known that. I guess since, it's just like, um, Alabasta. It's basically. just interesting to know that. Yeah, I, I guess that 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 iceberg knows about it because he's in possession of like the kind of the counter to to this weapon or the blueprints for it anyway. Well, it seems like the the it might have been like. Wait, so the ship is not- the ship is Pluton. The ship is a, yeah. the, is the blueprints of a battleship. Mm-hmm. But they made- 
as far as I could the tell, the blueprints they... were were made and deciphered from Poneglyphs by Tom. This oh, person. I thought that it was there was the wep. It was made as like if. Oh, maybe I'm getting. No, what, what are you saying? That it, I thought that it was like this ship was made. Pluton was made to counteract whatever the heck the weapon from the Poneglyphs would be. So they were like, "Oh, we need to have this." Pluton so that it's is the battleship. He's. I think he said. I'm just gonna find where he's. Pluton is the name of a battleship built on this island a long time ago. But I think uh, the ship who created an overwhelmingly powerful weapon had the blueprints passed down for generations. Uh, he felt by some chance Pluton started running out of control. There would need to be a force to counter it. Wait, yeah, no, I, 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 I think I'm, I'm missing something here too. So, Pluton is a battleship. The blueprints were passed down from generations. But the weapon is like, I think the weapon is, is are they saying like weapon is like the one piece? Like, cause the, you know, all the poneglyphs like lead to the one, like mm -hmm. one thing, right? Hang on, ancient weapon Pluton. Maybe this is uh, maybe it's unclear subs as well. We we don't really know. Cause people it... have been complaining about this. the blueprints of the weapon Pluton is the name of a battleship built on this island long ago. Shipbuilding engineer who created this overwhelmingly powerful weapon. So, the shipbuilding engineer created and created Pluton, the battleship. Mm -hmm. that has been passed down for generations. He felt that if by some chance Pluton started running out of control, the world, the, or there there would need to be a force to counter So they would it. need to build another one, I guess. In order to get them. The government has resort. Wait, so there's two sets of blueprints? No, I think that the ship was, Pluton was built and then they kept the blueprints in case they needed to make another oh, one okay. yeah, to yeah, go against it. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, that fits with what he's saying. I but the government just wants the blueprints probably just for themselves to have that. Probably just for themselves. And it's out. It's known that mm -hmm. it's outlawed to uh, to research all that. Whether, yeah. yeah, that's just a like a scarcity thing. Like if you make it illegal to make a better weapon than you, then you can have the weapon. Or whether it's benevolent in that, you know... I doubt it's just benevolent, but you know, mm -hmm. uh, that it's about keeping the peace. It might, it might be both. It might be, it might be two sided. You know, there's, it's, 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 it's also funny to me that Crocodile wanted Pluton so bad, but I'm like, would you want it that bad if it was a boat when your whole thing was like that you, <laughs> that you wanted to just stay in the desert? <laughs> yeah. Military might, I guess, is mm -hmm. what he said. I was kind of like zooming in on their faces. And yeah. But like Gara when he's in the hospital. Yeah. Uh, do you think? To think that you're helping them without knowing that I'm too shocked to speak. The man named Tom who entrusted the blueprints with me had been concerned about a girl who was who alone was able to escape escape from the O'Hara incident 20 years ago. So that although, although she was small, she was dangerous since she had the same ideology as the O'Hara Devils. Are the O'Hara Devils the CP9? Is that where CP9 is based, maybe? Um, I don't know. Or maybe they were, maybe that's how she learned about Poneglyphs. Because apparently now she's the only person in the world that can decipher Poneglyphs. Is uh, she the only person or is CP9 able to do it? I don't think that they are, because the whole thing was he kept saying, like, you're the only person who could do this. And I don't think the government would even want, like, their own agents knowing how to, you know, access something that could overthrow them. But in order for her to be able to know how to read them, she would have had to have someone to teach her or some way of, like, you, you don't just, like, spawn... With with that knowledge magically, you know. This is a devil fruit involved somehow. Probably not. Uh, yeah. That seems unlikely. I think yeah, she would probably have to learn it from somebody. And if, and these if they blueprints kill, are I'll... like passed down. Mm -hmm. Are do you think the blueprints are from Poneglyphs or is it just like an ancient weapon that was just created otherwise? Because because they were they, Crocodile and Robin were were trying were took over Alabasta to get the Poneglyph because they thought that Pluton's blueprints or the where it where they thought it was something that you could find yeah would be 
somewhere would be in Alabasta. The, the Poneglyph would be there. Mm -hmm. And it would tell them about Pluton, how to get a handle on it. So Pluton is related to the Poneglyphs. But now there's shipbuilding engineers who have blueprints that are not on some giant stone artifact. Mm -hmm. uh, they're, you know... A blueprint that they they kind said, of said like oh yeah the, this guy like created this ship and then like passed down the blueprints yeah so I'm not sure if I'm just not understanding it right or if if there is like a, a bit of confusion within the subtitles there that like because before it was like okay the Pluton is like the Poneglyph thing and now it's like okay the Pluton well, is like a, sh a ship building thing yeah that's true. But I guess the thing is, is if, if you were, the whole thing was like, okay, the Poneglyphs are like essentially the blueprints for the weapon. So why would you also then just make like a physical piece of paper blueprints if you were so dedicated that you were like spreading around your giant Poneglyph I think it's stone that, tablets? I think <laughs> it's that the, well, the Poneglyph, like, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Like, uh, that's that's confusing me too. Like, if, if the Poneglyphs, I, w the idea is that it's like the only recorded history from the blank history or from other periods of time, possibly. Mm -hmm. That you know, that's what it's written on is is these like stone tablets. So like, they carve shit that needs to be remembered in the stone tablets, so that you know, no matter what mm -hmm. happens, it'll always be remembered. But then you're afraid that by sharing this, maybe there was a crisis where like they made the Poneglyphs and then were and then saw, you know, like maybe that's what caused the blank history is like the made the Poneglyphs because we talked about this. It's like there's this there's there's was talk of a catastrophic crazy weapon and a and there's and and a missing period of history where like and then now after all of that. The world government is like, we need to stop people from seeking this, seeking out this weapon, seeking out all the stuff that like, uh, is, is related to all this stuff. They have, I don't think they've ever said that like the weapon caught the, you know, a crazy war or something caused the, the blank history or the blank mm -hmm. century or whatever it is. Um, but I think it can be intuited that they're related, that, you know, mm -hmm. there, there was a crazy cataclysm caused by these weapons and now there's... Um, you know, re reason to not want people to go after that kind of thing. So maybe the idea is the person who, the creator made the Poneglyphs or scattered them or whatever. And, you know, Pluton and, or whatever other weapons, like there was a Poseidon or whatever it was called. Yeah. So there's other ones perhaps. And then this war happened and maybe it was like a, I, I hate to, you know, make the Naruto comparison as we always do, but you know, maybe it was like a tailed beast type thing or a, just take your pick from another series mm -hmm. of all these weapons. And it's, it's like the weight of peace is, you know, if the weapons are going to be there, we need to equally distribute them so that there's like a mutually assured destruction type thing. Maybe that backfired and then there was the blank blank history or a blank century or like a crazy war and then he was like okay i need to like entrust my student somebody that i trust more than anything with the ability to make a counter you know mm -hmm. to again have this like mutually assured destruction type thing and that's where iceberg's line of like student teacher things led to iceberg is like a, he that's why I said like I inherited the creator's will because the creator maybe eventually regretted the creation but had no way to turn back time. Yeah. So then created the blueprints to be kept in the hands of this line of succession mm -hmm. that would keep it in the hands of people who would not use it unless it was absolutely necessary and would literally lay down their life to uh to protect it. But you know, since there's no just deleting it because there's people like Robin who, you know, just like, just like they will go out and search it and cause destruction to find it. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no getting rid of it once it's already created. So there needs to be some kind of balance. And the way to keep that balance is to keep it secret and by, you know, these people that you trust. So that, that's mm -hmm. the only thing that I can make sense of with that. Uh, does that sound, does any of that sound right with you? Yeah. That sounds about like what kind of is being set up. I think it's also... It might be a little bit of like a 10% subs not being as clear as possible, but I'm not going to blame that. But like, no. I, th I think what it really is, is 
this part it's introducing these ideas in a more concrete way and it's kind of trusting that we're interested enough to try and decipher it and discuss it as viewers whether it's mm -hmm. us or any viewer you know they're not like spoon feeding all the information to us they're giving us a lot of, they're loading us up with a bunch of information that will lead our interpretations going forward which is i think better writing than just like making it so easy to understand we just like instantly figure everything out you know yeah I like that there's some interpretation, some guessing involved. I think that's what most people like about One Piece. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I was not expecting such a crazy amount of stuff. I'm also so glad. I mean, Luffy's technically he's like locked up again, um, but I, like I love how he was stuck and then he got out and then he got stuck again and, and then, then he, he and then got and, and then he got, got stuck, stuck again. again. And like that, I think is kind of funny because it's it, it's. I don't know, just something about it is is just it's more it's more of being played as a joke kind of like oh there there he is stuck again mm -hmm. um and there was like a number of moments where luffy like it, it was zooming in on luffy's eyes like he was inspired by yeah by him yeah by Polly. is that his mm -hmm. name um and i think that he relates this is very this kind of feels like a shanks mm. uh situ type situation here where he's like trapped or like he's you know he He's say or he got I don't know sim similar kind of parallels here where they're like they don't really care. Polly doesn't really care if he like loses his a part of his body or if he loses himself. Mm -hmm. He wants to go save and then he's you know maybe maybe he's inspired by that sentiment and it's something that he holds close to himself and mm -hmm. obviously Luffy feels that way about his about his friends all the time. So yeah, I think that he just he can see you know he Luffy doesn't know that. That all the people are that Polly just got betrayed by his yeah, by all and Polly doesn't crew. know either. Polly doesn't know either, but um, yeah, I don't know. It's just, I, it's it's very touching, and I just it's interesting how they put because like Luffy doesn't. I don't, I don't what what how do you, how does this connect to everything? Because it's like Luffy's going through a lot of trouble being betrayed by Robin and and losing Usopp and losing the Mary and stuff. So like. I feel like this moment where this guy, he doesn't, you know, neither of them know there's betrayal going on, yeah. but they're like, he's alone. He's the only one interested with in all this. He has a really important mission to take care of. Maybe he sees kind of Usopp in him a little bit where he mm. had this really important thing to retrieve and, and then, he wasn't able to do it. Um, mm. and I feel like he, in this moment, Luffy, like there's, there's multiple layers here where Luffy I think, yeah. really identifies with him. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's yeah. nice. I also like when Iceberg is like, basically Robin to Robin, like, you know, like, what, like, what, what are you doing? <laughs> like, why are you helping these people that do not like that you exist? You know, mm -hmm. like he, he's kind of, you know, just calling her out a little bit and sort of reintroducing the idea that she, she obviously has a reason for what she's doing. And it probably, yeah. it's, it's. Not, not that like we necessarily have to be reminded. Obviously, we know that she probably has a reason and stuff. But like, if if you were watching week to week and if you were a kid, thing and you were like, oh, Robin's evil now, and then it's like, and then it's like reintroducing like the, well, she's probably not, and she's doing this for a reason because those people that she's working with right now want to kill her. Mm -hmm. So what you know what what's worth the risk of that basically? The people she's working with want to kill her. Well, they're they're for the government, and the government wants her dead because she can read poneglyphs. Um, yeah. So uh, I wonder if she's doing this for like yeah. So, so go back to Robin. I the, uh, Iceberg's mentioning Tom, and Tom knew of a, of of Robin as mm -hmm. a girl that she was really dangerous. Yeah. Maybe Tom was the was was her mentor too, before coming here and being a shipwright, or in between maybe. I don't know. Cause, cause, t like this line of succession that that uh, Iceberg's kind of talking about is aware of poneglyphs and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Maybe they know how to read poneglyphs, and that's passed down too, and that that comes with the blueprints, perhaps. Maybe Robin was supposed to, you know, inherit that will or something, mm -hmm. and um, but you know, maybe she was hot headed or had they had some kind of a falling out or. I don't know something, you know. Mm-hmm. I don't something with that. Maybe that. Maybe maybe this this guy, this person, this Tom guy is like connected to her as well, not just Iceberg. Maybe. Or maybe there's a separate person, and they're holding him hostage. CP9 is or the government, 
and that's the leverage they're using against Robin other than just like we'll kill you you know maybe or maybe they said we'll kill all your friends if mm -hmm. you, you know because they they were undercover yeah and they were working on the ship or they they you know they showed up and assessed the whole area mm -hmm. that what if they were just like there's uh they what if Kaku went and planted explosives all over the Mary while he was there inspecting it you know he like oh, he crazy. ripped up the floorboards and went underneath into the into the bilge and you know under into the bones of the Mary there's probably a bunch of fucking C4 planted in there or something like or dynamite <laughs> you, you know? imagine Pro maybe maybe that's crazy. it maybe they were just like we'll detonate the C the C4 if you don't help us get the fucking blueprints and all of your friends will die. Maybe it's something that simple. It's not even somebody else. That would explain it. I mean, Ka now that Kaku's there. Yeah, but the whole thing is that they, they left the ship because of what Kaku told them. So they wouldn't have been on there to get exploded up anyway. Yeah. This was a crazy episode. I'm just thinking about, like, I, I don't know. I just, I wasn't expecting it to get so... I don't know, I wasn't expecting Deep. to get so much information, like, in, in, like, in this episode, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. all at once, all this crazy reveal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the fact that they showed, um, Kaku and, what, what's the other guy, bird guy? Luchi. Luchi, like, knocked out outside the door, but it wasn't actually them. Yeah, where but was that? But it's, like... Here? I was like, what the hell? But then later they showed that the guy had like a taped on nose or something. Pretty convincing if you ask me. Mm-hmm. Anyway, yeah, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Shit. Leave us subscribe, let's move right along to the next one. Also, W Iceberg for you know, not trusting the other guys as yeah. much. Yeah, well that's what I was saying, like, they they could have worked their way up into that. That's what they were trying to do. Mm -hmm. I wonder how many hints there were of the reveal, like, mm -hmm. like since their introduction. Frankie. What if he just comes in clutch right here? Oh my god. Comes in clutch, goes to the Mary, Mary <laughs> blows up with him on it. No, I, I was thinking that he was at the other place, like, looking for Luffy for some reason. I forgot that he that they went back to the ship. What if Kaku did plant C4 on the fucking Mary? Frankie goes, blows it up, but not on purpose. Mm. And then he is like, I don't know. He'd probably just be like, why? They tr make a trap for me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's not the sharpest tool in the shed. I can't believe I said like fucking, oh yeah, you know, I kind of like these guys. They're like, you know, <laughs> fuck, I was bamboozled. totally fooled. I was like, comp I was, I had zero. I was like thinking, uh, at one point I remember thinking like, oh, the, why are they wearing masks? Yeah. You know, like, but it was established earlier that it was like a part of the culture there that like some mm -hmm. people just wear masks. So it makes, it would make sense that like they would wear a mask to infiltrate yeah. in a place where there's masks, whether you know them or not. But usually in a story, if somebody's wearing a mask, it's because there's, you know them. Yeah. And, like, or you, you will know them. Yeah. <laughs> like the characters would recognize them. That's why you mm -hmm. wear a mask. Iceberg and Frankie. Okay, the storm's still coming in. Oh no. Fucking pants on. <laughs> Chopper thinks he's so cool. <laughs> and now we don't have anyone to help us with the actual culprits. Uh, they wouldn't be much help. 
could at least use some witnesses. Oh my god. <laughs> he got his head out. Mm -hmm. Good, now get the rest of yourself out. Can, can you rope action your way out of this one? <laughs> it's stuck in the wall. <laughs> Okay, now help him get out. Five years. Wow. Or what? It's like, what's the worst you're going to do? Kill him? So mysterious. You can't reveal our stuff to the public. Some old lady was talking about you in a bar yesterday. <laughs> and yet you didn't kill Polly. So what's that about? <laughs> Instead of looking for the One Piece people, just trying to be take o taking over Pluton. Are they going to tell if he's lying or if he's telling the truth? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh. I like that. Tangerines, too. Mm hmm. <laughs> What's the significance of these people? She comes in and saves the day. She's like super overpowered. We just keep coming back to them and I just like... There's got to be something going on with them, you know? <laughs> hmm? Eight years. Eight years. What else is eight years? Cutty Flum. Well, is it like somehow a, a code? It's like an anagram like or something. Real or something. The names, Cutty Flum. Whoa. Eight years ago. <gasps> There's the old lady. There's mm -hmm. her significance. Is she the one? Or her son or something, maybe? <laughs> no! 
Frankie! I saw the hairy legs. <laughs> no fucking way, dude. Is that why he's such a shit disturber? <laughs> no one would ever expect him. Bro, settle yourself down. He can't, he's dying. <laughs> Well, oh, so they got destroyed in his house. <laughs> hmm. I don't think anyone would have thought that. I mean, I, f I fucking didn't. Jesus. なるほど。事実からしか生まれない我々の欲求の資格。フランキー一家ならば、造船所へ材木を売りに集めるお手渡しチャンスはいくらでもある。小林まれない距離を保つか、人事に問い入れ。あなたの手元に設置したの強気な
whether I feel like it's either that or they're in the lady's hair. Yeah. I, yeah, it's, I, I also, yeah, you kept being like, why is this lady important? Yeah. Like the drinking like, lady. Like, how does she fit into it? Like, she, because we, we, sh we show up to the train station, I could, I could, uh, when we first see her, I could think, okay, if they're making a train, like, a thing, maybe she'll just, like, be the train lady, and her and her weird little granddaughter will be, <laughs> like, a recurring character whenever we, like, pass by a train station along the Grand mm -hmm. Line, you know, like, They'll, we'll just kind of run into them every once in a while. And maybe they still will, but it's like, I, they keep showing up when there's no other reason for them to be on screen. Like, mm -hmm. they, they leave this one, where they're just walking around. It's like, why are we cutting from this super important shit to just these weirdos walking yeah. around? Like, what is the significance? Why was she talking to Frankie... In the, in the bar, bar for like for, an for yeah. like half an episode we sat with her chit chatting and I'm mm -hmm. like she gave some really important information so I'm like why does she have all this important information mm -hmm. it, you know what is what's her significance here so but it's because she's been around basically but maybe there's something I feel like there's still more to her I feel like there's still yeah. more going on there because she's she's very very mysterious mm -hmm. um yeah Tom's mm -hmm. violent disciple, Cutty Flam, died. She looked pretty roughy when she, when she was young. Yeah. I mean, that was only eight years ago. It looks like it was 20 years ago. She's way thinner, you know? Yeah. Anyway. She's been chugging wine every day for eight years. Yeah. Frank. I love how he just gets them. He's like, oh, these are the <laughs> these are the blueprints for a, a crazy ancient weapon. All right. <laughs> like... He's, no, he, it's because they were both disciples. They were both taught yeah. about it, but he, I guess, didn't have the blueprints. I guess Iceberg was, like, the chosen mm -hmm. one because he wasn't, uh, he, like, Frankie was a little bit more psycho. He was a little bit more crazy and <laughs> wild, so he wasn't as No one would expect him or even necessarily want him to have them. But, you know, he, Nobody, eight years, yeah, well, he, hasn't, he hasn't done anything. Yeah. Other than be a menace around town. Well, I think he got them four years ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I think there's still a mystery with his backstory that we don't know, but they were both students of Tom. They both learned and were taught a bunch of things. And like, you know, maybe like maybe Frankie heard the stories of the crazy boat, mm. but it like, wasn't shown that like they actually had the stuff to make it. Then Iceberg is like now top of the town. They thought that four, they thought eight years ago, four years ago from the meeting that, um, Cutty Flom had died, mm -hmm. and uh, and then he shows up four years later, all cyborged out. So that must it's like a Darth Vader type thing where he got fucked up and then you know retrofitted with all this crazy thing. Mm. That's why he's a cyborg probably because he like died or uh, faked his death or something like got in a, got in some trouble. Mm -hmm. Four years later he shows up and then Iceberg's like no, don't bring him in. And then they meet secretly and he gives him the blueprints because he's like, you know, the government's snooping around. They know I have this mm -hmm. shit. They've been asking me and uh, it's only a matter of time before I'm found out. So here's the blueprints. You take them and all, you know, you just don't use your name anymore, you mm -hmm. know, since he came back after he died. Um, but, that, but since he came back and mentioned his name to Iceberg, who's like a brother to him, I guess, um... Then it, it, it was mentioned the one time and, it and just Kali, exposed and everything. It got, yeah, it just was so, so it was, it was, um, it was proof that their infiltration was working. Cause like, yeah. th like their name was mentioned one time when he showed up probably. And then he, and then Iceberg was like, change your name, stop using your name because it's, you know, dangerous and take mm -hmm. these blueprints and you keep them safe. And, uh, I guess to remember their, their teacher, Tom or whatever, and the, the kinship that they have, they, kept up this kind of ruse and that makes sense why they you know the frankie family as we found out aren't super strong i feel like you know i feel like iceberg probably could have completely you know they could have done what we did we they, they could have gone done there the, and destroyed, just destroy them. them if they were such a fucking menace to society mm -hmm. um, but by being that much of a menace to society no one's gonna expect yeah yeah so they they let them kind of while out every once in a while and yeah. uh, and apparently there was like lumber involved yeah, they'll salv salvage a ship. <laughs> <laughs> they'll sink a ship just to salvage it. Yeah. But now uh, Frankie shows up and he's like, ah, oh, I have business with fucking... But maybe he'll help fix the Mary now, now that we know that he's a good guy. That would be kind of crazy. Maybe he shows up and he's just like, 
Yeah. Or if he, yeah, I don't know. Somehow they can. Maybe, maybe he'll he he'll feel bad. You know, now that like this this is the kind of thing where I wonder how much how much of all of this Oda had in his mind at the very beginning. I'm with the amount of buildup. I'm willing to think a lot of it. Mm -hmm. Um, but how Frankie acts with in this situation, I think will will. Uh, yeah, be we telling because if he shows up and he j is a good guy now and he like helps fix the Mary and like as a as a repayment for taking all that money because he f looks down on Usopp or whatever mm. then that would kind of change I mean it wouldn't change it would like I'm acting like I know but like it, it, it would it would be different than like the conception of him that I, at least I had at the very beginning yeah. so I'd be willing to think that there was some more wiggle room with his character but so far I feel like th nothing that's happened so far Maybe maybe like little tweaks or like a, ooh ooh that would be cool if it if, if it was Frankie mm -hmm. actually all, all along but I but with the build up I, I could see all of this being like fully planned from the beginning mm -hmm. you know like it's just a little bit weird how we got how like everything was presented once we got there but I, I feel I could yeah. I feel pretty confident that like you know o Odo was pretty you know that he that he had the idea that Frankie was going to be a bigger player mm -hmm. he seems more like at uh, least at the point when Frankie got his uh his design change and was like well it also seems like we had this I feel whole, like, like before too because I feel like what they what the reason looking back I feel like with the mask and him his whole getup was that they were trying to make us think that he was involved like is now yeah. especially now that there's people that were undercover and like uh lying about their identity and their allegiance yeah you know that so sort That's of idea of idea. Re of that kind of reveal makes sense if you look at the way the the outfit change mm -hmm. was because you know if Odo was planning in the background this idea that there's going to be some treachery some betrayal and that's big like a big reveal. theme of this whole thing. Then it makes sense that like this guy who you know we think is a part of them because of the way that he's dressing and the way that mm -hmm. he's acting is turns out he's actually not at all mm -hmm. and it's it's like a, a trick of the the costume so you know i don't i don't even think i think i think i think maybe there's like uh i th I, th I feel like um the only thing that i could be unsure about is like the like who was under each mask because the masks changed there was the mask with like robin in the first assassination yeah. and then he's inexplicably wearing a bear mask so it feels like that's a Oda had the same idea of the betrayal and the setup for that, but clarified it from from like yeah. maybe all of the people involved like that that are currently involved in it weren't at the beginning. Like only one of them mm -hmm. was a, was originally going to be a traitor or two of them or something like that. But then, you know, we see the bear mask instead of just like the random mask and it turns out uh you know, there, there's multiple. And then there's the bull mask and the skull mask, which were introduced way later into mm -hmm. this whole plot as it unfolded. And I feel like, uh, and it was after the change from like just the regular porcelain yes. style mask to a bear mask. I feel like that's the kind of thing where it's like the idea was always there, but like clarifying who exactly is involved mm -hmm. and how many people are involved. That was maybe a little bit later. Yeah, you know? I was going to bring that up to the... That's what I the, feel like. The, the, the switch up of the style of masks, because when we first get introduced and it's like this like carnival style of masks. Um, it was like Venice or something people were saying. Yeah, like, uh, you know, we have all these, these like, you know, like gondola ride, all these, these, yeah, yeah. these masks going on. And and I, it, like it was, it was like very much the aesthetic, and it was like, oh, there's like all these people, and then there's like the one guy that we know, and he's like creepy. But then yeah. all of a sudden, the you know the mask styles completely change, yeah. and it uh, it removes itself a little bit from I think like the original thing of like, oh, because there's this culture of these masks, then this is how these these guys yeah. are sneaking around. It's like that kind of becomes relevant because you're not really sneaking. I think around. irrelevant is too strong because it's it's the same. It still a, a, achieves the same thing. It's just that it's like. I I think that's what that's what I mean by like clarify, you know. Yeah. It's it's like um, I don't and, you know, and then, then like Frankie takes off the mask, and then these guys change their masks. It's like that's what I'm saying. Is like I feel like that. Yeah. The I think you're right. That the idea was there, and then there was like a a moment where it's like, okay, now this is exactly how the rest of it's gonna go, and I want these like. I want to bring in this this vibe with this like creepy skull mask, and you know this and that. Like I could feel. I feel like 
Luchi, for example, was was planned from the beginning to be like a, a traitor, and maybe even Khalifa as well, because she was she was so close. Like, like that that's the kind of thing where I feel like all and you know, there's you could point out something with all of them. My my point is like, I think that. I think what was I, I think what was I think all of this was planned for, for, from the like this is just my my reading of like from a writing perspective what what might have been going through Oda's head maybe my intuition not saying this is this is like I'm trying to claim that I know obviously I I think that the whole idea of the betrayal like the way that the all these guys were built up like you know I I even said it fooled me it's like I thought that these guys were really cool mm -hmm. I think that that's on purpose I think that that I don't think that that was like a random chance thing I think that like the fact that Luchi always spoke from his pigeon mm -hmm. um was part of like that was set up for the reveal I think that the yeah. fact that we thought that Kaku for example was built up to always be like the coolest guy was a was a big deal. Mm -hmm. Bluno, I it makes sense that he's a, he would be a part of it, but the fact that he was the guy behind the main mask the whole time, I feel like maybe there could have been some shuffling last minute with that. I don't know. That's just my, what I'm thinking. Maybe, uh, I don't know. Anyway, like I feel like it it all if it, it all fits together perfectly, it all lines up, and mm -hmm. uh, it's really good. It's I gotta say, like it's I I I'm I really like this whole reveal and everything and and everything mm -hmm. that it brings to the table. I don't know. It's just interesting to think about. Yeah. Like, I, because, I, yeah, I think, like, with the with the mask change, and I think that with Frankie dressing like that, we're, we're kind of supposed to think that he's, like, in on it, maybe. And I, But I don't think he ever was. I think that he was always supposed to be, like, I think, a yeah. good guy who's, like, you know, misunderstood or just kind of plays by his own rules, and that's what's kind of nice about him, and that's why, you know, he's he just kind of, kind of cool. Silly, yeah. Yeah. Look at Which him. makes sense, because that's what we do, too. So he doesn't really have any feet. Oh, I think that's just an. Uh, I think that's just an error. I yeah. That, but, uh, Robin doesn't have a toe there. Or no, her, her, her foot's pointed in a weird way. There's like that little black oh. cropping thing. Anyway, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not trying to diminish it by like talking about it this way at all. I'm just trying to. I'm. I'm trying to. I'm actually trying to do the opposite. I'm trying to. Like, mm -hmm. It was really well done. It's really well done. I'm trying to think like. Yeah, I'm just trying it's, to think about how how well it was set up, like you know all the all the things that were done along the way, because it makes sense. Like it, it makes sense. It's like when you look back at the whole arc and and how they were all introduced and how like we get to this island, it's like oh here's like all these really cool guys, but there's this person in a mask. Like what does that mean? Mm -hmm. You know, like who who are all these people in a mask? Like what? what I, mean, I don't know. Just like the idea of introducing like a bunch of characters that like I think most people probably saw and were like oh they're all really cool and everything and. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It just, I, it just, it just really works for me. I just really like it. Mm-hmm. Really good. W. Leave a like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one, Carson. I'm Lindsay. Bye bye.